I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part eight of my simulation series, the ng-spice raw data file. Now I would like to take a look at this rc.raw file. Let's see what's inside there. What we have is a header, and this header section is always in ASCII, even if you ask for a, for a binary file. So you can at least see what's inside the file. Uh, and so you could write a program that could read this header. Uh, and in the case of the ASCII, then these four variables, you see there's 165 points, and so this is point zero. And there are four points listed. There's, there's the frequency. Now these are all complex numbers, and so they did kind of a weird thing in SPICE where since these these numbers all have the same data type, but frequency is actually a real variable, it's not, it's not complex. Uh, so they put the real part to zero, but you can see it didn't quite round to zero. So they got this weird number for, for the complex uh, part, the imaginary part of frequency is this weird small number. And then here's the voltage, the one volt uh, doesn't have that problem. Then there's V out is here, which is, is the lowest frequency, so it's got very low loss. And then there's the current, which is the current uh, in the voltage source. There are options in SPICE to store either more or less things, depending on what you need, because the files can get quite large, and so it's kind of a trade-off for how much you want to save. And I said there's 165 points, and we see this number here starts at zero. So let's see what happens down at the end. Yeah, it goes 0 to 164. So this is just an index. Now in KiCad, they have this library cache, which makes it easier to instantiate parts once they've already been instantiated. So that's this uh, feature here, where when I go to add a part, we can see the ones up top that have already been instantiated. So that's nice. And that information is stored in this uh, cache file. Then there's the CIR, that's the original netlist. Here's our edited netlist. And raw is our BICE output raw file. The schematic is an interesting one. That's actually the KiCad schematic. It's kind of swell that this is an ASCII file. Lots of great uses. And so I believe that the way the netlister works is it, it's actually a program that reads the schematic file and interprets it and creates the CIR file. So I very much appreciate the work that somebody did to make this netlister and I hope that it continues to get enhanced and be even more useful for simulation. I also am looking forward to having a library where we could have one of these sections in the library have all the spice components in it in one convenient place uh, with things like round voltage sources and that sort of thing. That would be very useful. And if somebody knows about one of those, maybe they can tell me about it.